hi welcome back to my channel my name is Laura um, today I have a box from Barnes & Noble um, I had a coupon for 15% off my entire order uh, so I took advantage and got a lot of books um, anyway um, sorry for the redness I have seemed to have some sunburn or windburn I would say because I work for recess and they had us outside at 30 two degrees and I was freezing uh, but it looks like I have some sunburn <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna share with you what's in here and uh, let's see <laughs> so I'm gonna oh, I already pre-opened it and it looks like there are one two three four five six books in here and I think I ordered more than six so another box should be coming in the mail uh, yeah, so I ordered a, a really big order because I had to 15% my entire order, which you, normally they only give you 20% on one book. So, uh, yeah, so I ordered a qu quite a few books in here. So let's share what's in here. Uh, lots of garbage they give you. <laughs> All right, so the first book, and I'm going to wear my glasses so I can read the backs of them because some of them are maybe author buys, but some of them I don't even know what they're about. So here we go the first book is one true loves by taylor jenkins reed and it looks like this so i am going to read the back a little bit so here we go okay in her 20s emma marries her high school sweetheart jesse they build a life for themselves far away from the expectations of their parents and the people of their hometown in massachusetts they travel the world together Emma is a freelance writer, Jesse as a production assistant on the sets of nature documentaries, living life to the fullest and seizing every opportunity for adventure. On their first wedding anniversary, Jesse is, this, is on an assignment in the Alistian Islands. I don't know. I probably butchered that name. Uh, where when his helicopter goes missing over the Pacific just like that Jesse is gone forever Emma moves home in an effort to put her life back together years later now in her 30s Emma runs into an old friend Sam and finds herself falling in love again when she and Sam get engaged it feels like her second chance at happiness that is until Jesse is found Emma Sor now has a husband and a fiance, but who is her one true love? So sounds pretty interesting. So that's this book. So kind of sad and kind of helpful. So yeah, so I picked that one up. So the second book that is in here is Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And it is the same exact author that I just read the book back for. So I got this one. And I'm going to read the back of this one. This one says, at age 29, Hannah Martin still has no idea what she wants to do with her life. She has lived in six different cities and has held countless meaningful jobs since college. But on the heels of disastrous breakup, she has finally returned to her hometown of Los Angeles. To celebrate her first night back, her best friend Gabby uh, takes Hannah out to a bar where she bumps into her high school boyfriend, Ethan. It's just past midnight when Gabby asks Hannah if she's ready to go. Ethan quickly offers to ride her home later if she wants to stay. Hannah hesitates. What happens if she leaves with Gabby? What happens if she leaves with Ethan? In concurrent storylines, Hannah lives out the effects of each decision. Quickly, their parallel universes develop into surprisingly different stories with far-reaching consequences for Hannah and the people around her. Raising questions including, is any, anything meant to be? How much is our lives is determined by chance? But perhaps most compellingly, is there such a thing as a soulmate? Hannah believes there is, and in both worlds, she believes she's found him. So, yeah. So that sounds pretty interesting as well. I'm not quite sure I'm going to like the part that she goes drinking. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I'd like to uh, read this one as well. So that's a new author that I could try. And now in here, 
is another author um, that I got, and this one was on a bargain price, and the book is called Kindred by Octavia Butt-E Butler, and I've heard that she uh, writes really amazing stuff, uh, and I really don't know what this one is about, um, and so I will read a little bit of the back. Okay, so... Dana, a modern black woman, is celebrating her 26th birthday. Notice that all these people are in their 20s uh, with her new husband when she is snatched up abruptly from her home in California and transported to the South. Rufus, the white son of a plantation owner, is drowning and Dana has been summoned to save him. Dana is drawn back repeatedly through time to the slave quarters and each time... Uh, the stays grow longer, uh, more audacious, and more dangerous until it is uncertain whether or not Dana's life will end long before it can chance to begin. So this seems like a time travel book, as uh, seems pretty interesting, and yeah, I hope to like this one as well. So that's that one. Okay, so the next book in here, I have three more books. Uh, the next one is an author that I haven't read yet, and um, one of the booktubers that I follow uh, suggested that I read this one, so I immediately picked this one up, and it's called Night Passage by Robert B. Parker, um, and this is book one of a series, um, and uh, really don't, it's Jesse Stone novel, book one, and there is no synopsis on this book. It's just the picture of the author on the back. Uh, yeah, so let's see if there's a synopsis in the inside. Maybe I should go into this one blindly. There's no, no, nothing. I think that is, it is a thriller and it is book one of a series. So we'll see. And the good thing is, as I'm shooting through this one, is the chapter's only three or four pages long, which is great. I love those type of books. So if I don't really like it, I could always pause after the chapter. I hate when the chapters are really, really long. So we'll try this one out and see if I like it. Um, I'll probably try this out um, in, this might be my PP read for, we'll see, uh, for the author challenge. So we'll see. So that's that one. So I have two more books in here. Okay, this one. Um, let's pretend this never happened. A mostly true memoir. I think that this is nonfiction, uh, but I'm not sure. So just correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this one is by Jenny Lawson. And I heard that this book is kind of hilarious. So I picked this one up and I didn't have this one. I thought maybe I had it already, but I didn't. So I picked this one up. It says, uh, even when I was funny, I, w I wasn't this funny. But even when I was funny, I wasn't this funny. So that was quoted by Augustine Burroughs. So yeah, the funniest memoir ever. So that's what it says on the side. So it seems pretty interesting. So I'm pretty sure that this is nonfiction. So that's this. And the last book I have in here is called The Listener uh, by Rachel Bosch. Um, and this one, um, I'm going to read the back. So... Uh, a wise and witty novel about the challenges to identity that arise in both adolescents and middle age and the student and therapist who just may have the power to save each other. Malcolm is almost positive he recognizes the freshman who shows up for a season session, I'm sorry, a session at his office in, in Bexter College's Center for Behavioral Health. He just can't place her. When suddenly he, she stands, takes off her wig, and reveals herself as Noah, the young man Malcolm had been treating months earlier, it marks the, first, the start of a relationship that will change them both. During the course of one semester, Noah's and Malcolm's lives become intertwined in ways neither could ever have imagined. Told, told um, alternatively, from Malcolm's and Noah's perspectives, the listener explores the ways in which we conceal and reveal our identities. As shocking truths are exposed, characters are forced to reconsider themselves and reorder their lives with few easy uh, answers to, the to be found for anyone. 
The listener is uh, ultimately about the power of human connection and the many shapes that love can take. So, seems pretty interesting. And it's about a psychologist. I'm sure it's a mental health book. <laughs> so, those are the six books that I got. Did I say six? Yes, six. Whoop, I just dropped my glasses. But anyway, here are the six books that I bought uh, from Barnes & Noble. Um, I'm not sure if I ordered more than six. They might be on back order, but uh, this is what I have for now. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have you read any of these books? Um, I know Octavia B. E. Butler is a very popular author, which I have not read yet. So she wrote The Kindred. And... Um, I hope that, and I know that he's a very popular author as well, so I'm hoping to try him out. So, yeah, so that's it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video. Bye.